So when you get to rinsing the dog, you're gonna do the same thing as when you're washing them. You're gonna start behind their eye or as far as you can get before they start to go into a little panic. And you wanna make sure you're getting that water down to the skin to make sure that you get all of the shampoo rinsed off. Because if you leave product on, if you leave shampoo on, it can cause itching and skin irritation. If your dog is really good for the bathing and the water process, you can rinse it over its head, like I showed in the previous video. Again, tilt it back a little so they don't feel like it's gonna go in their nose and they don't feel like they're gonna drown. And try and get as close as you can to their nose without going over their nose. It's okay to get this by their mouth. The water won't hurt them if it goes in. They may not like it, but it is okay. She doesn't like it, but she's tolerant of it because she is more used to it than most dogs are as she gets bathed every week. So again, if you don't have a shower connection, a hose to do this, you can use a cup, you can use a measuring cup, you can use a water bottle, but use the stream that's comfortable for your dog. And again, if they have thick hair or a lot of hair, make sure you're getting it all the way down into the hair down to the base of their skin to make sure that you're getting all the shampoo rinsed off. And when you think you're finished rinsing, rinse again. You'd be surprised how much product stays in the hair. When you're rinsing the ear, again, flip your ear over so you can see where the ear canal is. Pinch it closed. Not tight enough to hurt your dog, but tight enough to keep from any water going in. And just make sure you're getting the hair on the bottom rinsed out. Okay. Flip it back over to prevent any water from getting in there. If water does get in there, a dog will shake its head and the water will naturally shake out. 